Hey guys, I'm BK. Today is day 28. Last three days I was very busy, so that's why I can't make video. Okay, uh, I already I created part one video of Ansible and part two video of Fansible. Then uh, this video is part three. On part one, I, I spoke about um, installation and uh, manage node and control node. And part two video, I spoke about um, project and the inventory file, everything. And this is part three video. So my part one and my part two video duration was very long, like uh, 20 minutes above. So it's really hard to watch. Uh, so this video is going to be uh, eight minutes or 10 minutes because uh, it will be easy for, <laughs> it will be easy for editing. So that's why. And also if you are watching this video, definitely you will be a, a pressure or you, you will be a, a new to Ansible. So if you see uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes or one hour, it's really hard to uh, watch 20 minutes or 30 minutes. So that's why. Okay, coming to the topic. Today, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, Ansible ADAC commands. So first of all, what is ADAC commands? So you can see uh, my screen. So these all are the commands we are using in Ansible. And in Ansible, there is a two file called uh, inventory file and uh, playbook file. So on inventory file, we mentioned our manage node IP, uh, domain name and username, everything. And in uh, playbook, we are uh, writing the thing we want like uh, I want, we want to copy a file from manage node to control node, uh, sorry, control node to manage node, or we want to uh, install application from control node to manage node. This kind of the thing we are, uh, we can write on a playbook. Then we run the playbook file with the inventory. Uh, we can execute. Uh, so, but coming to the Ansible ADA commands, this is a single line command. We can do a simple action like uh, copy the uh, file from one one uh, control node to manage node and uh, and uh, enable the service and install the package. So this kind of the thing we can do by using uh, Ansible ADA commands. Okay, and uh, we going to. Today we're going to see uh, 21 ADAC commands. So these all are the commands uh, generally using in uh, Ansible administrator. Okay. So if you want this uh, command link, you can get this link on this video description. Okay. So I am on day 23 folder on day 23 folder i can see a ansible attack command dot yml file so this is the file so we have a inventory file where is it inventory file i going to create a inventory file over here in this directory for that i am using touch uh, this is going to be host dot ini so this is the inventory file. So inside the inventory file, I'm going to copy this group name called staging and I paste in host.inventory file. So let me check the IP of my uh, managed node. So this is the IP of my managed node. Okay, everything is fine. I going to execute uh, all Ansible attack commands. Okay, I start with this ping. This is a, a simple module. So I'll explain this command. So we are using Ansible. So that's why I'm using this Ansible. Then staging. What is staging? Staging is nothing but group name. So where I mentioned that group name, so in host inventory file, I mentioned the group name. Okay, here you can see a prod or whatever you want. So this is going to be a staging. 
okay then coming to the module hyphen m hyphen m is a module and so i am living in chennai so that's why here weather is very hot that's why uh you can see my face it's really hot okay coming to the topic yeah uh, yes hyphen m is nothing but a module so we are using ping module ping module is uh, is nothing but so we can use uh, this module for connectivity uh, checkup for example i going to run this command so that you guys will understand so this go this host should be a host dot s you see this so this is the response from my manage node so i am sending the res response i am sending the request from my control node then i got the response from my manage node pong this is the response okay i hope you guys understand this concept coming to the second command see many people not mentioned their inventory file on this command because uh, they can mention this uh, they can mention uh, their ip on this path etc and ansible ans ansible and ls you see there is a host if you are not mention you see th this is the file we can mention so while you run this code where is it github day 20 28 right yeah while you run this code this first code first uh, add command oh my gosh time is already 6 minutes okay i'll try to complete 10 minutes and ansible and uh, there here you see i mentioned this host if you if you not mention this host here this ansible will go to slash ect and uh, ansible slash host where is it see it will go to here and it check the host so this is the default directory but i have a uh, uh, i have host file in this directory i go with ls you see this there is a host dot inventory okay this supposed to be host yes so again i go into run this command now i go to uh, second command this module is nothing but setup module you see by using this setup module we can uh, find our we can uh, we can we can get our uh, manage node metadata so metadata is nothing but their datas like their private ip their os their ar architecture whatever it is okay if you want to if you want to filter uh, their uh, ip address you can use host.ini so you can use sorry i am little bit uh, confused where someone is you see see the noise someone is disturbing me okay so by using the setup module what we can uh, what we can get we can get the uh, ip address or our uh, metadata of our servers our control node servers so by using this hyphen a is nothing but i am passing the argument the argument is nothing but filter inside the filter i want to find the ansible all ip address okay where is it 
I'll check this in okay so this is the key by using this key we can find the IP address of IPv4 or IPv6 I hope you guys understand how it is working okay now I, I want to do some action like I am using uh, Ubuntu server so on Ubuntu we can uh, we can do uh, seat so on Ubuntu machine we can um, we can okay this video is going to end because already 10 minutes gone so I'll explain this fourth one then you do this all by your own so that you guys will understand okay I go with this so this is my local machine so I go to go with the ls command by using this ls command what we can do is we can list all our uh, files or all our directory so the same thing I want to do in my uh, control manage node so I go with the ls you see there is a folder name ansible and Bharati in my manage node I hope you guys understand this concept already uh, 10 minutes gone uh, okay I will uh, we'll see you a uh, part 4 video on part 4 video we're going to do a simple project and a part 5 video we're going to do a advanced level uh, in Ansible I hope you guys understand what is ADA command and how it is works and thank you for watching and thank you for your support Tada, bye bye